Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and welcome to this oil painting time lapse of this maiden drifting down a river in a poisonous forest. If you would like to read the stories behind my oil paintings, then please follow me on Instagram and I will follow you back if you are a creative person and all my fairy tales and stories behind my paintings as well as extra paintings are on my Instagram. So this week I thought I would talk about time frames because time frames, deadlines, all those things, because I was actually slightly late in uploading my Prussian Blue uh, review. Um, I normally upload slightly earlier, but I did have some, uh, it did take me a while to research that one. I wanted to research the history behind the colour and just make sure I got the video just right. So it did take a little longer. And then therefore everything has become a bit slower this week. One of the reasons behind this as well is I've been taking a lot longer on my oil paintings, which is interesting because for many years now, I've been really strict about making sure that I only paint for a small number of days. And then I will sort of say it's finished because in the past, like when I started my very first oil paintings, I used to take months to paint. And I do think that is the case when you start out with oil painting because it is such a drawn out process and there's lots of different layers. And then sometimes you can lose inspiration because you're spreading your oil paintings over a number of days. So it can be a thing where you go back to it and then you don't go back to it. But because now I've sort of been working more professionally I do find it important not to drag my paintings out over a long period of time because it's therefore a disaster if I drag it out and then don't go back to it but recently because I've been doing all these like really involved underpaintings I've been finding that the more kind of accurate I make them and the more stylized the more time I spend with on the underpainting actually the better the oil painting is coming out and also the longer I spend on my other layers like sort of glazing and going over sort of tiny details it's all seeming to be looking better in my opinion however sometimes when I look back at some of my other oil paintings there have been paintings that I've taken only a day on and I actually think that they look better than some of my paintings where I've taken a really, really long time over. So it's such an interesting thing. It doesn't actually, it's a shame that there's no formula where you can say, oh, if you spend a long time on your art, it definitely will be better uh, because it doesn't always work out that way. I find that also with coloured pencil drawings, now believe it or not, this is going to sound really weird, but coloured pencil drawings are actually very similar to oil paintings. Because with coloured pencil drawings, you're actually building up a lot of layers, a lot of, a lot of thin layers, particularly if you're doing like a sort of realistic drawing. A lot of people like to draw wildlife and those sort of wildlife drawings and things can be so similar to what you paint with oils because you go in very softly with sort of thin layers, very delicate layers. So it's such a similar medium in many ways. And which is why I always say that people who are good at colour pencil drawings should really try out oil painting because they're so similar in terms of the process. So I do hope you like this painting and I was really kind of experimenting with colour. I wasn't going to, I wanted to make this really simplified in terms of the palette but then when I painted the sunset I just went wild and just lost it and completely put every single colour I could think of on my palette. So I do hope you like it and I will see you soon. Take care guys.